Like what you see? Like to be in the know? Visit Facebook.com slash WBGU and like us today. Stay in touch with what's new at WBGU-TV, national PBS programs, local productions, station events, and more. Uh, I'm Reggie Buer from Window Creations in Crystal Creek Glass. Uh, we've been making stained glass windows for uh, approximately 24 years for churches and for residences and businesses. Uh, on stained glass, there's literally thousands of different colors and textures that we can choose from. We'll start with the raw glass, and the glass is actually all one color or a shift of color, and, uh, and the craftsmen take that piece and basically cut out of that sheet the texture or the uh, the, what I'll call the grain. Just like in wood, you would have a grain. Well, glass is very similar. You will have a grain that you're working with. Once the glass is cut, then we can paint fine details on. For instance, if you've ever been in a church where you see people or symbolism, that's all hand-painted onto the surface of the glass. And we fire it in the kiln, and at that point, it becomes absolutely permanent to the glass, much like glaze is on pottery. But when we paint all the shading into the glass, We'll paint the whole piece of the glass completely black or brown or whatever color we choose and then we begin to scratch out and so it's like painting with light. We paint on a light table so that when we paint the, the image begins to come uh, alive as we scrape the color uh, off of the glass. So sometimes we'll make three-dimensional stained glass windows that are multi-textured multiple thicknesses. Some that may vary from three-quarters of an inch down to a quarter of an inch all within the same, same window. At uh, Window Creations in Crystal Creek Glass, we work with cold glass, warm glass, and hot glass. Uh, cold glass is glass that's worked at at room temperature. Warm glass is generally uh, anywhere from 12 to 15, 1600 degrees. Hot glass is what, when we actually get into our glass blowing, that's heated to 2100 degrees, and we rework it at about 2400 degrees. So that's really hot. We wanted to be able to take stained glass where it had never been. And so this was the reason that we really developed Crystal Creek glass and dimensional glass. Uh, the dimensional glass is something that we do have a registered trademark on. We've seen a need within the church environment uh, with so many churches going to a uh, theater type setting with uh, no windows to the exterior that uh, there was a need for stained glass to be able to be incorporated onto walls. We mount the, the glass off at different levels. So it's not just uh, cut glass, it is Cut, heated, bent, warped, drilled, and then it is mounted to the wall off of what we call quick risers. The pieces, if you look at them up close, you will find that they not only are warped and textured, sometimes we even paint fine details onto the surface of the glass, but you also notice they stick out three-dimensionally from the wall. So it's more than just bending the glass, it's also setting it out from the wall at different levels. So we have lots of different lengths of, of uh, quick risers so that we can establish a more of a three-dimensional look. Now today we use a lot of uh, wrought iron mixed in with our, with our glass. Uh, for instance, uh, we just did a piece at the Performing Arts Center in Van Wert and some of the, the wrought iron sticks out off the wall approximately eight to 12 inches depending on where you're at. So some will, will almost be contacting the wall and some will be very far from the wall. So it's almost like a sculptural piece. And they had some really unique wood panels from a special African tree. And uh, we didn't want to drill any more holes into their wood than we absolutely had to. So we, we lined up most of our, uh, our set offs from the wall, uh, our quick risers and our posting for our, our wrought iron in between the the main panel so we were able to be the least possibly intrusive into the actual framework of the wall. I mean you name it we can we can make it here. I mean crazy stuff. Uh, when we were doing the the original R&D for like these big glass tombstone monuments and and those take four weeks to cool in the kiln um, I mean that really ties up some equipment for a long time but some people ask me, well, why'd you do that uh, if you're not going to really promote that heavily? But I always said, when Donald Trump comes in and says, can you do it? I want to be able to say, yes, I can. <laughs> Probably on any art piece that we create, my goal is always to have them see something different every time they view that particular piece of artwork. So that when they look at it today, next time they view that piece, they see something different. To me, that's a piece of artwork when they see something different each time they view the piece.
Scenic Stops is brought to you by WBGU-TV. Support great local programming by giving now at wbgu.org slash pledge.